Hey everybody, Steve here, and here's a look at all the stories we're following from the AFR News Desk for November 24th, 2015. Our lead story this week comes from over at Play.com, where yesterday they released their monthly newsletter a week earlier than normal to get it out before the Thanksgiving holiday. This was a jam-packed issue with lots of goodies in it, and the biggest one of all is a free six-team download for second season football that features all six professional teams that played on Thanksgiving in 1966. In addition to that download, there are some other freebies highlighted by some additional manager strategy cards for History Maker Baseball. If you're not already subscribed to the Play.com newsletter, please check out the link below this video to get subscribed today. It's free and you'll never miss another issue again. In other news, over on the Delphi forums, Andy Lewis posted a free download for a grid zone die roller. This is available, it's a web page that he uploaded. You can go there for free and it'll automate all of the roles for your grid zone game. Couple of Kickstarter updates. First, over at Roll Saga, they announced that they ran into a bit of a snag and they're gonna be delaying the shipment of their Roll Saga baseball game. The hiccup in production was with the stadium overlays on the board. They were produced a little bit too short and they skewed the dimensions of each of the stadiums. So unfortunately, those orders will not be sent out in November, although they're still hoping to get them out before the end of the year. The Crack of the Bat Kickstarter had an update this week, and they've released a free download for their custom score sheet for that game. And you can download that and print off as many copies as you'd like as you get ready to play Crack of the Bat. Couple of things for Bottom of the Ninth from Dice Hate Me Games. First, Fellow YouTuber, uh, the channel is Box of Delights. They've released a couple of videos detailing a playthrough of the solo variant of that game. So for those of you interested in playing this game, but just as a solo, you can check those out. I'll post links to those below. And then also my Kickstarter copy of the game arrived this past weekend and everything does look really fantastic. For those of you who haven't seen, they had uh, limited edition of this clipboard. I think there was only 50 of them that they sent out. And so in addition to the regular board game, I have this nice clipboard that has the game board printed on it. And then also this stack of score sheets for the game. And that's also signed by both of the designers of the game. So it looks really neat. Looking forward to playing that. Maybe I'll get a few games in here over the Thanksgiving holiday. And then I just wanted to mention one sale that I'm aware of happening right now over at Stratomatic. They're having a 25% off all of their Hall of Fame products for their baseball game. And this is going through November 30th and you use the promo code HALL25 to get that discount. If any other sales come up during the week, be sure to follow my Facebook page and also my Twitter account. I'll post links to both of those below. And for any breaking sales that come out, we'll post those as soon as we can so that you can grab some goodies here this coming Friday. All right, let's take a look at some new releases. Over at Replay Games, they have now begun shipping the delayed 2014-15 set for their Replay Basketball game. Couple of releases over at Atba. They put out the 2015 men's set for their Atba Golf. And the 2000-2001 set is now available for Atba Hockey. And then finally over at Sideline Strategy Games, they've released the PDF version of the 1933 set for their Payoff Pitch Baseball game. And finally, channel updates. So earlier today, I was able to release my review of Classic College and Pro Basketball. If you haven't had a chance to watch that, you can check out that right after this video here. It's gotten a lot of good responses so far. Uh, I was glad to see people 
enjoy that. It is a very interesting game, and if you're in the market for a new basketball game, really check that out. It has a really great game engine, and I think a lot of tabletop players would enjoy that game. If you've been following along with the other two new video series here on the channel, the Game of the Week and the Question of the Week, they are both off this week for the holidays, and they will be returning next week on their regular schedule. And the news, of course, will be going up here every Tuesday. The news never stops. I'm still planning on doing another Under the Hood video before the end of the year, maybe a couple. I'll keep you guys posted on that. Other than that, the AFR Quest for 1000 continues. We broke into the 870s this week. So thank you to everybody who has been helping spread the word. We're still going strong, hopeful to hit that 1000 mark before the end of the year so I can give away that great prize package. And also once we hit 900, I'll be adding another surprise to that package. So if you have a chance over the holiday weekend, got friends and family coming over, let them know about the channel. And if they subscribe and leave a message that they were referred by you, you'll get a bonus entry into that drawing. All right, everybody, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. My name's Steve, and until next time, get out there, have fun, play games, and I'll see you after further review.